Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be assembling the Meshnology N37. If you stumbled here on accident, the N37 is a LoRa radio which runs a firmware called Meshtastic for off-grid, peer-to-peer, encrypted communication. Now after we're done with assembly, we'll be conducting two weeks of testing which we'll be posting updates on on our YouTube Shorts. So if you aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that button. Now to assemble the N37, we're gonna need this Meshnology 3000 milliamp hour battery, the Wii U Tracker L1, and the case that we will open up in one second. Now, it came in black and purple, and there's also some other cases, and I like my lower radios to be kind of sleek and look uh, radio-esque. So, I went with black. Let's open her up and see what the case looks like. Well, so we got our screws, and we are going to need a screwdriver. And we can see we got some buttons in there, so we don't want to lose them. Oh, that is a stunning case. That is a very stunning case. Ooh, and it's sturdy. Oh, I don't. <laughs> huh. I'm gonna have to put that antenna there. This is going to look excellent. All right. Now to assemble the N37, we're gonna need our Wii U L1 by Seed Studio, which has a lot of features. I mean, we got a GPS, we got a buzzer, we got an on and off switch, we got a USB-C port, we've got a, a solar panel connector, two millimeter JST, a battery connector, what else, an on and off switch, the, the reset button, a select button, I mean this thing has even a ribbon cable for an e-ink display and a beautiful 1.3 inch OLED display. This is, this is a really nice dev board. I, I, I gotta hand it to them. This is really nice. But our N37 case is made up of three parts. So we're going to do the do and assemble this bit by bit. We're going to take out our SMA antenna, which is quite short by the way. Hmm. Our GPS antenna. <laughs> and I guess this is to extend the battery. Oh, that's very nice. Now the first thing we want to do is put these three buttons that we got in the bag in place. One button right here on the side, that's the uh, reset button. And then we got the joystick, not really a button, but the joystick itself. We want to place that flat in there and we have our select button. Next, after we've kind of made sure that that's in place, our battery is gonna go somewhat like that. And we can tape it down with double-sided tape if we'd like. So if you'd like your battery secured in place, this would be the right time to do that. You can use it double-sided if you'd like, but I wanna make it so I can remove it at some point, if I need to. Or I can, hmm, how do I want to do this? Yeah, that seems, that seems pretty good. We'll make that decision in a second. For now, we'll leave it like this. Hmm. Now, we want to make sure we secure our SMA antenna. You won't need this ring to do that. So we tighten it all the way, best we can, make sure our antenna is ready. As for our GPS antenna, we want to slip our GPS antenna facing like this, up, ceramic antenna up, and we'll be able to take this part and clip it to the back of the L1. Now on the back of the GPS, I was under the assumption that this was uh, adhesive, and it's not. So that's okay, we're just gonna keep that just like that. It's still a nice bit of cushion to keep from rattling. Now from here, we have a couple of key points that we need to point out. This is your battery connector. This is where you attach your LoRa module, uh, LoRa antenna, and this is where you attach your GPS antenna, right here in the corner. My apologies for misspeaking. Hmm. 
See how that's secured in place? We want to slide that in up with a corner, push up against it, and then place our module. Hmm, we got some slack. I like that. Now from here, we're going to secure our LoRa radio. Grab yourself a Philip screwdriver and we want to secure it in place. Now that we've secured the L1 in place, everything is uh, hunky-dory. The joystick feels good. Clicky button feels good. How about this button on the side, the reset button? Ooh, click, 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 click. I like that. Nice. So we got this half ready, and uh, we're about ready for the other half. Now remember, we slipped our GPS antenna in that groove right there. So just swoop, just like that, and everything is perfect. We're gonna save this for, for a second. We do not need to worry about the GPS just yet. Now remember what I said. I actually accidentally screwed this in thinking I was recording in a second, so I had to disassemble this and start all over again. So my apologies for that. Please make sure you tighten this ring, this nut right here, all the way, and you should have a decent amount to where the pin inside this male SMA antenna, our male SMA connector fits into this female SMA antenna. Make sure that your LoRa radio is turned off. You can make sure it's turned off like this. Once it's switched down, it means it's turned off. If we turn it on while there's no antennas plugged in, it could pretty much just destroy the device. Please remember not to turn on your devices without an antenna plugged in. Pretty please. Now from here we want to connect our IPEX connector to the LoRa module. The LoRa module is right here, so SMA antenna to the LoRa module. Be careful with your, uh, with your wire, you don't want to break it. Make sure it's secure and in place. Now from here we want to set this kind of, we want to move with it. We're going to plug in our GPS antenna which goes in this corner right here. And then we're going to place our Jeep ceramic antenna, Jeep's ceramic antenna right over there. And then plug that in like so, just like that. Oh, snug as a bug in a rug. Perfect. Let's make sure if there's any rattling. Nope, no rattling. Let's move on to the next step, which is screwing in our screws to the nut. Let's start with the GPS antenna.
Now, after a successful installation, it should look like this, which is really neat, by the way. I like the L1 and I like that it's full of features. I mean, packed full of features. This is a really nice dev board. And this is a really nice case with a decent battery. Finally, we can actually test our device. Flip the power on. Ooh, it made a noise. Unset. That works. Fantastic. Well, we've got to flash our device. Now that we've assembled our N37, we can head over to the Meshtastic web flasher, find the Seed Studio Wii U L1, and drag and drop the update file. From there, you have updated Meshtastic and happy meshing. We will be conducting two weeks of testing and give you guys a full video on our conclusions on this device, which I have high hopes for. So far, everything by Meshnology feels great and is powered by really great hardware. If you want to stay up to date with some of the latest IoT devices and some different variations of tech, we go over new shorts daily in our shorts section. So, we'll see you next time.